All right, good morning. It is Saturday, September 16th, and I am fishing a tournament this morning. Fishing the cat team trail, fishing the team trail solo uh, by myself, and we're on the James fishing out of Hopewell. Uh, this is a place that I've been fishing quite a bit recently. Um, I mean, probably five times in the past like three weeks so I'm excited to fish I think that it's gonna be a good day I don't really I'm not really super concerned with uh, the happens so it's, it's an exciting morning let's get out there Amen. GoPro stop recording. We got number 40. We're at 35. We're running that away. Up the Appomattox. It's about a 50 plus boat tournament. We're getting on it. All right, it's tournament morning. 6.50, I am at my first spot. I'm gonna start with some flipping in the reeds. It's about full pull on high tide, and I don't know. I'm not excited about the first three hours or so, but it's gonna get good, I, I hope. Water's a little chillier than normal. Um, we're at, let's see, 76. Last time we were here, it was 81. Bumped up to 84 throughout the day, but... All right, quick morning update. It's 8.45. I'm up in the Appomattox right now, but tide's starting to switch and I'm moving to my next spot. I haven't caught a single fish. I had one bite flipping through the, uh, the buzz bait, through a popper, through the drop shot. Um, I got hit on the, or I got bit on the, uh, the on while I was flipping. Um, but I'm gonna move to a spot that I know is usually pretty good at lower tides. Uh, end of outgoing, beginning of incoming. Try to get five fish real quick and then I can go do some searching, make me feel a little more comfortable. Let's take that run.
Alright, it's 9.15, 9.13. Not one of my spots that usually I can pull a few fish off of. I've got zero fish in the boat right now, so I need a quick confidence boost. And I don't usually find real big fish back here, but what I do find for the most part has been consistency. A couple of docks in this area that have produced for me at a similar tide, so I'm gonna try to fill a bag real quick, see if I can't find something of size and get some confidence back in it. Feeling good, but still early. Weigh ins not till 345. I'm not really concerned, but I would like to have a fish. No! Fuck! Swam straight out to the boat. No! Shit, that was a big fish. Shit. It's almost 10 a.m. I'm still fishless. I'm at some spots that I have caught quite a few fish at before. Um, I got multiple bites back there on that dock, that last dock. Some guy fucking came in like 10 feet away from me and then jumped on the dock right in front of me as I was trolling over there with my trolling rig. So I jumped in front of him and now I'm back here in this spot. I pull a couple fish off this bank here. It kind of fucked me up. I was really betting on both of those dogs. The one that he jumped on was definitely one that I caught quite a few fish off. Two off the dock I hit earlier. Lost a couple of them. One's about, well, I caught three. One's about 12 inches, the other is probably two pounds. This was my milk run, so I need to pull them out of here quickly. 
spots don't stay on for very long. And I don't have many of these. fish All right, quick midday update. It is 11.53, I've got five fish in the boat. I mean, they're fine, but I'm happy to have a, a bag that's full now. So I'm in a good spot. I'm gonna fish a couple of other spots I know are pretty good, or I've caught fish before, and see what happens. We're only upgrading now. Now we are upgrading.
call the number four. That's sweet. Call number four. That's a nice call. Alright, it's 2.38. I just called a 1.32 with a 1.54 or something like that. Um, not a big call, but I'm here in a spot that I know I can produce some fish cooking for the next the worst day. Five fish. That was my goal. Uh, could not find big fish. Biggest fish I caught might be a little over two and that's it. But Hopefully, nine pounds, twenty pounds.
All right, quick recap of my tournament day. Uh, this was my first time fishing with the uh, Carolina Angler Team Trail, uh, the James River Division. There was, I want to say, 50 boats. Um, we fished at a Hopewell on the uh, Appomattox, but the main river is the James. Um, launched at like 640, or boats were out at 640. Um, weigh in was 345. I had a plan put together for this. Um, as most of y'all will know, the James is tidal, so everything is based on timing and tides. So I, I put together a, a rough draft of what I wanted to do. I, I had three different areas that I wanted to fish based on tides. Um, so I I went with it for the most part. Um, I changed my last spot because I wasn't really familiar with the area that I had planned on going to and swapped out to go back to my first spot. So a little more in detail, I fished the Appomattox in the morning during high tide. I ran over to a creek that I fished pretty often. I was calling it my milk run, a place where I just know there's a couple of docks that I can find. A bag off of um, so that was everything before uh, 1230 one o'clock I stayed over there at that creek um, so I fished the Appomattox this morning I flipped reeds uh, through top water all kinds of stuff um, missed one fish on the Appomattox and it was just a, a really slow morning. Around 10 a.m. I moved over to my creek. Um, I fished a couple of the docks that I normally fish, the back of this one creek that I fish, and I kind of stuck around that area. And by like 10, 30, 11, I still hadn't gotten bit. And finally the bottom of the tide uh, finally happened. And this dock that I just know always has fish on it got my limit off of that dock um, and cold a couple of times actually. Uh, then I went back into this creek, caught a couple more fish, um, a dock, and then off of a, a bank that I, I really like. And uh, that put me at about 1 p.m. Um, at that point tide was coming in pretty good um, it had risen quite a bit um, the bottom of the tide was around 10 30 11 I want to say and um, well probably closer to like 10 and so I went back over to um, the Appomattox around 1 and fished that high tide again in this stretch of reeds that I just know that there's some fish in. I flipped flipped those reeds, caught three fish, I want to say, one of them cold. Um, so I ended up um, trying to move around in that area. Weigh in was 345, so I stayed close to the ramp ish. Um, like everything was within a 15 minute boat ride. And so, like I said, I caught a couple of fish flipping. Um, all the other fish on the docks were all caught uh, on a drop shot using my just go to the missile baits magic worm in green pumpkin money and that was basically my day like I, I kept so move back my five fish ended up weighing just under nine pounds like eight nine eight or something like that um, I was looking for, you know, a, another three pounder or a three pounder. I was looking for a kicker. I wanted, to, I really wanted to scratch 10 pounds. Like that was my goal. First goal, get a limit. Second, get at least 10 pounds. And man, after that low tide, 
that incoming hour of incoming um, at the bottom of the tide, just fish shut off. I, I couldn't get consistent bites. Like I mentioned, I, I got a couple of bites flipping in the high tide, but it just wasn't, it wasn't it. It wasn't a deal. Um, and I, I mean, I, I got to learn. I got to learn to be able to be more versatile. Um, I'm hinged on this dock and drop shot deal. And while it'll catch me a bag, it's not going to catch me a big bag most of the time. Um, so I got to diversify my skills. Um, so I learned, learned today, certainly. Um, I didn't finish last, that's for sure. Um, it was great to come in with a, a full bag of fish. Nothing was even questionable size-wise. I had like a, a one five three, uh, one two one sixes, and then two just a little over two pounds. Um, so, yeah. All in all, you know, rough morning. As soon as that tide got to its lowest point, while it was still outgoing, it started to turn on. And then the incoming again, it was on. So I had a bite window of about two hours and then kind of weeded through those flipping fish. Um, so I just got to get better at fishing more stuff and being more versatile. I need to go explore some more areas, have some more stuff to be able to kind of fall back on. Because right now I'm, I'm pretty new to fishing the James. So my waypoints, I've got maybe like 15 waypoints. So, all in all, great day on the water. It's a good group of people to fish with. Um, yeah, and I'm, I'm definitely going to be fishing with them again and going to be checking out some new spots, certainly. That Hopewell boat dot, or City Marina is positioned in a really good spot. Um, I can go south or north. And uh, I look forward to uh, fishing again here very soon. Um, tune back in. Thanks for watching the video. Um, I'll be sure to fill my next tournament and fill you guys in on how I'm improving or learning. Either way, it's always, you know, positive. Um, I'm definitely a proponent, proponent of whether or not I win or lose. I'm learning all the time. So tune back in. Learn with me. Let's get better together. <laughs> uh, and again, thanks for watching. If you haven't already, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll be shooting some more content your way soon. Peace out.